Hello again. Welcome to another edition of Arts and Ideas. I'm Sue Swinand. And I have tremendous respect for my guest today, artist Lynn Johnson. She is one of those artists who has been working away steadily, making great art, exploring big ideas, teaching and exhibiting all over the country, literally. And um, without as much recognition as I think she deserves, too. Uh, she, her exhibition history is so overwhelming, I wouldn't know where to begin with it. But uh, suffice it to say, she has awards and collections from numerous uh, institutions around the country. So Lynn, um, Delighted to have you here today and proud to have you as my guest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I wondered where you got started with your uh, education and all. Um, actually, in high school, I was um, an art major, mm -hmm. and, uh, which meant I had two whole periods every day, which I squandered half the time. But, uh, and then I went to Mass Art and um, probably would have had a sculpture major if they had one at that time. But the only fine art major was painting and illustration. So uh -huh. that's what I did. And then from there, I thought, well, I need a little more to sort of keep me in this. So I um, got into Pratt Institute in New York and um, majored again in uh, painting, but with a minor in printmaking. And, and printmaking uh, has been one of the things that's interested yeah. you over the years. I, I think of you as a printmaker. Yeah, well, part, you know, I think, oh, no, I'm not really a printmaker. I do all this other stuff. But I thought, when I started looking at it, well, Your yeah, body print, is, print has been in, you know, whether it's 3D or 2D, I mean, print is yeah. there most of the time. Yeah. But I mostly concentrated on this originally because the big structures that I was making for a while in uh, graduate school, I didn't have the space and I didn't mm -hmm. have the time or the money to do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so it was. Uh, so where printmaking. do you do most of your work? Um, well, I have um, a studio at home, and I have a studio at uh, a second home on the Cape, and then I belong to a printmaking group called Full Tilt Printmaking <laughs> and in Boston. And that's important, though, because they have all the presses and all, right? Yeah, yeah. There's 26 of us that, wow. that, are, that are members. and. Uh, it's a very big space. We've moved a couple of times, and um, this is, we hope, will be the last because we have to take the presses apart, you know, and put them back mm -hmm. together again. And but you can work on bigger things in the communal studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we have a press that's about, I think it will take hmm. 30 inches wide. We have another one. Oh, no, that one's mm -hmm. maybe 36, and there's one. Wow. That will be. And got what's the name of the group again? Full Tilt Print Studio. Uh huh. Yeah. Wonderful. And it's actually in Hyde Park, which is yeah. right on the edge of Boston. Yeah. 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 Now you've done a lot of teaching in this area. I know. T tell me a little bit about your teaching background. Uh, uh, always um, adjunct all over the place. Um, I started teaching at Marion High School in Worcester, actually, which um, I guess went back to uh, being um, co-ed or something, and uh, you know it's, to it's quite different now. Um, and uh, but I wanted to get into uh, college teaching, and Rivia College in Nashua was the first place I started teaching. And um, from there it was, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I was teaching. If it's um, Tuesday, it must be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'd wake up. What day is it? You know, I'm not sure. You know? <laughs> uh, a lot of preparation time, so there wasn't that much to do, much uh, time to well, do my I work. Well, I met you at the Worcester Art Museum. You taught there for a long time. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Clark that was, University. Yeah, and Clark and most recently. And, and uh, for a long time I was in, I was in Boston, but 
um, you know, teaching at museum school, teaching at yeah, Tufts, teach, yeah. you know, and um, I finally, you know, the, the commute, oh my God, so in places to park and all of this stuff, Art Institute of Boston, oh my God, I have to, you know, You really run have out and taught everywhere <laughs> and anywhere. I thought I was bad. Well, and so, but when, you know, going to Clark was, you know, the commute was not nearly so bad. Yeah, and, the, and you taught printmaking there, easy. right? No, actually, I taught drawing. 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 Basic drawing. Uh, now, yeah. this, I'm going to show the first image. This is a drawing, is it not? Mm -hmm. Tell us. Yeah. Um, my most favorite tree, it's a maple tree um, at Bowers Springs in um, Elissa, a place that we often hike in um, Harvard and Bolton combined. And uh, I've, oh, I've taken a million photos of this thing. And, uh, you know, sometimes I've used the photo and just blocked out the background a little bit and done a print. And other times I've just But um, this is not a print. This it. is a drawing it's in a what, drawing. charcoal? Yeah. Uh, drawing on uh, with a really soft um, pencil on um, acetate, actually, because I was trying to make a print from it. And I did make prints from it, but the drawing has some of the subtleties that the prints didn't necessarily What I love it. about it is all that complexity and linear, I well, know that's, you're that's a why lover I, of lines. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, I took it. As a, it happened, the light was just the right way so that it was making all of these uh, uh, shadows on the, um, the trunk from the branches, and I just thought that was super neat, so um, well, yeah. Nature oh. is a complex uh, reality, that's for sure. Um, let's see what the next one is here. Oh, goodness. Okay. There it is. Okay. Yeah, that's um, about six feet tall, and it's um, actually um, some branches that I found that were really, really interesting shapes, and I cast them all with paper and combined oh, them. Oh, so this is not actual branches? Nope. No. Ah, yeah. So yeah. this is again. She makes things out of paper. Yeah. Paper, well, I love paper. and ink <laughs> are her, her medium. I, I love paper. So this is made, manufactured yeah. out yeah. of a rolled so paper. So it's not. And, it's yeah. not. You know, well, it's yeah. I. I. You'd have to. It's sort of a paper mache kind of thing. You know, I would cast the uh, the the. Uh, branches and then have to slit open the cast from the back and you know and take it off the branch and oh, wow. I combined a couple of branches I just happened to like so the way in a they way work. the branch itself is the thing that's making the print of its three-dimensional um, exterior well the branch is no longer in there but yeah no, that's but the, that's yeah, how you formed that's it. right yeah, wrapping yeah. paper pulp Pulp on around, the branches yeah, yeah. cool I didn't yeah. know that and then the, the background is actually a drawing with um, just color pencil uh, you know I I thought it was just the natural shadow of the t of the twigs well I like to play with that the, but the it's artificial, very you know, surprising yeah. when you see it in real the life the shadows and then the, are drawn yeah, you can on move, the paper you can move uh, you know well I first got the idea because from my when I was working on it in my studio, there was wonderful shadows, and I thought, well, you know, I might as well draw I them for heaven's those. sakes. I want yeah. those. Yeah, and so then, um, you know, as you change where the light is on it, you see the drawn, but you also see other. So it gives you a little perceptual kick because yeah. your yeah. your amazement, your discovering. Well, wait a minute, this is real. This is not yeah, real. This is, this yeah. is an yeah. illusion. Yeah. yeah. Wonder. Yeah. I love this piece. Yeah, I do okay. too. Um, you want me to push Arrow? this? Ah, okay. Oh, good. yeah. Okay, now that's my favorite tree again, uh, you know, uh, and that's from oh, an wow. actual um, photograph. I, I turned it into a plate and um, printed it in intaglio form, and then there's a second, this little twirly part here in the middle. Um, that's actually vines that were on a tree that's uh, out in front of the house next door to us. It's gone now. They so cut it down. So you superimpose yeah, so another that's on, print that's on, on top of your yeah, favorite and that's on, tree. That's on fabric. So the fabric oh is lying my. over the... Uh, you know, fabric, that's so interesting. When I looked at this, my first response was, you know, emotionally, it has a kind of sadness to it and a... But it reminded me of like the Shroud of Turin, believe it or not. Oh, God, you know, which really? is, yeah, <laughs> it has kind uh -huh. of this, I don't know, it feels sad to me. Oh. oh uh, yeah. It's so beautiful, though. It's, it's a wonderful, uh, I, I get a wonderful response to it. Yeah. I love this piece. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. Um, let's see if I can 
And it also has more line in it, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, this is from my walks up and down the street almost daily, where I would find, um, oh, garbage. Cast, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just cast off bottles, cans, and then also pieces of cars. And the pieces of cars um, I thought would be great to uh, to print, and uh, I had to make sure not to ruin the press. So are you actually rolling up the yeah. ink on the crushed cans and things, and then? Well, the, the, the these are actually three. See, I cast them too, and uh, the reason I call it um, this is Street Finds, uh, the inside story, and the reason I call it the inside story is because there are a lot of cans that um, I cast just directly with paper, um, but then when you take it off, you've got the actual can is yeah. the inside. So again, you so have that sculptural object that was cast from the original, yeah, from yeah. the natural object. Yeah. And then I have since, I've since uh, started uh, using Poyo putty, which is this stuff that you can attach to uh, vertical surfaces or, what and, uh, or whatever, and I've done a lot of um, tree trunks and things, so I've gotten a lot of texture. So you press from, that in? You press that in, and it only takes an hour usually to cure. You pull it Tell off. Tell us again. I want to know. Yeah. Poyo putty. How do you spell that? P-O-Y-O. Poyo putty. Yeah. That By sounds the, I awesome. think it's the Reynolds, the Reynolds Company or something. Yeah. Um, you can find it online. Yeah. And they do all, you know, they have so all sorts of things. So this is a combination of printing and sculpture with paper. Yeah, except that I think I used no Poyo putty in this one. I no, just was. that's was more on the yeah. board. And then I was, I was also um, um, painting with a little bit of acrylic on yeah. the Yeah, a little bit of color, things. is that yeah. the color? Yeah, it's, it's Oh, blues this is a beauty. This, yeah, again, now that's. Now that's um, um, uh, thicket. Uh, yeah, uh, well, thicket in two parts, and it's from uh, a new, relative new. It's not that new. No, ten, ten years ago maybe. Um, uh, pronto plates. Um, so it's a, a lithographic process that's a real quickie kind of process. And, and um, you actually brought a pronto plate. Yeah, no. Look at this. It's nothing but a sheet of, oh, yeah. of uh, acrylic with a polymer on it, right? Yeah, I just painted this on, and I painted this on to be part of the um, the blue in the background. So, so this this is actually three prints on top of one another. Each each one is three plates on top of one wow. another. Wow. So this is just like a background or a top yeah, ground or something. Yeah, it's just the sky color in the background. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, and this is this is uh, before it's got anything else. Isn't that else. magical that you can get this from this? Well, you th this, almost. This is yeah goes in yeah goes in the there are in other the, plates. In the hollows yeah there are other yeah. plates. And there's actually there was there were two plates. I can't even tell if I did this or what yeah. on this one. But I I did drawing uh, that I wanted almost in black to emphasize certain things, and then I've got this sort of warm brown that's yeah. just the basic image. Beautiful line and and uh, yeah, so divisions it's a line, of space. It's a line thing Your again. Your design here. <laughs> here is so so expressive of the wildness of nature. Whoops. Uh oh. What okay. Did that do? Go back one. So we have. Uh, we're right, working no, on the cans now. Yeah, on the these cans. Yeah, this finds. is this is just more street finds and. Um, this was a this bottom piece is just a beautiful piece, and I don't know what part of a car it is, but the, it is part of a car. <laughs> so, and here uh, you're actually generating shape with those found objects. Yeah, I love I love the shapes. I love the surface. I love the, the yeah. I love the textures. Sometimes I had to run them through a press a number of times to flatten them. I tried going over them with my car. My car didn't have enough pressure. I had to Mostly use the press. Got to get the but, truck. But uh, you know, I, I could be in real trouble if I damaged yes. the press. So I had all I sorts of things on it. I could see how that would be a it. problem. Yeah. I flattened Danger. it out. Danger. Yeah. yeah so. so these are more about texture and shape. Yeah. Then line. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, well, I keep you know I yeah. keep moving around. This um, you can hardly tell, but there's we'll two embossings yeah. on either side, um, and um, so it's where the object went through the press on the damp paper, without, but without ink. Without ink, exactly. Um, and it's from my sort of going through um, uh, was Irving. Irving, Massachusetts, has a big paper mill where they recycle paper. And they've changed it now a little bit. It's harder to get down in there, but there are these there are huge bales of paper, and you can sometimes walk between them. And it's just like, um, oh, 
Canyons. Canyons. <laughs> canyons, exactly. Canyons in the in the Southwest, which I've been in a million times. And so this might be called, I can't remember the exact name, but I did so many different ones of these things. Uh, it might be um, Canyons with Ghost or, you know, paper, yeah. scrap paper canyon with ghosts or something. So that's the way form is. There are spaces between and bulges. Yeah, yeah. And See, I love, yeah. I love space, I love openness, and I love dividing it so that you can kind of get a better sense of, of the space. And these are all separate plates that I cut because, again, they're um, uh, polymer plate now, etchings. Now, do you print them all at once, or do you print one at a time? Um, that's all at once. Wow. Yeah. So you lay them on the, pr on the I lay, lay them on the press then, the yeah. way I want them, and then, you yeah. know, and then print it. And this is, um, this one has had a lot of success. It's been in a lot of different shows. Um, it's called, uh, let's see. Um, Looks like the big dig. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, this the, the the main part, the main etching is from uh, recycled um, metal. That well, it's a place that doesn't exist anymore, but it used to be in um, Clinton, and I used to go there and and do a lot of photographing, and um, that was just like a, a really yard? interesting. Metal? Yeah. Well, it was yeah, because they they put all of this stuff. It doesn't matter if it's school buses or what it is, uh, radiators, old signs, everything gets crushed goes through this this um, machine and comes out in cubes. And apparently they used to sell it mostly to China and really? China is just not that We're interested anymore. And, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, interesting how this one is so man made. You know, oh, all yeah, of the yeah. shapes well, see, and it's, still it's the wires are not the same it's, as as grasses, yeah, or, exactly. Yeah. But so you know, so I sort of get. Sometimes I'm just more interested in the linear aspect or in the uh -huh. the shape aspect or whatever. The these are just um, the things on the outside of that main plate are just um, things I actually glued on afterwards that were you know that I. It had gives me the feeling printed. of something about our culture and the way we live well, that's, with, you know, with I got confusion think, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and I got thinking about yeah. that, you know, that we have just so much stuff and then we're throwing this all away and thank God it's being Burying recycling. ourselves in our own, in our own junk. junk. Yeah, and I just figure sometime that'll be floating around the universe in big clumps right, wow. like it is in the oceans yeah. right now. But um, so they were, it was kind of beautiful in a way with all of this stuff together, yeah. but it was also kind of horrifying that this stuff is here, you know. It's what awful. I like is the sensibility is still there that I see you in the one with the tangle of trees and then and here yes, with yeah. the tangle, the tangle of, of, of Yeah, oh yeah, it, I was very excited. One is the man-made, <laughs> one is the natural. And there's a little bit of hand coloring on it too. Yeah. Um, and this is, um, I think it's called scrap metal, uh, re one with some things removed because it's it's um, one two three four. There's five plates here that are all that have been cut with scissors and you know and then filed and everything around the edges, and it uh, then has some stencils on top of these various things. So um, the actual you can see the the. Um, the edge, yeah, you can see the edge a little bit there. Beautiful are, textures and yeah. lines and patterns. Yeah, there are little, patterns. Little, little edges of, of uh, Reminds metal me of some see. kind of little things from Star Wars or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and this is, this is, this is actually Ooh. some of the um, cubes that come out of that machine. Really? So they are usually, they're about like, you know, you this mean size. surfaces on them? No, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is like these are the tops of a couple. Yes. You know, yes. So, some, Surface, so it's actually surface. from photographs. Yeah. What is this and one? This, this thing is um, a new order, and it's a whole bunch of pieces of uh, metal again from this recycling place. Now wait a minute. This is not metal. No, it's paper. So. When she says it's a whole bunch of pieces of metal, don't that be I, confused. Well, then I'm. But that then I'm. She cast that I in cast. a paper pulp. Yeah. So it's a print in a way. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, in fact, it, I've sort of you know stretched the the, the definition of print. Yeah, a little bit. You know, yeah. just it's it's so just when we thicker, say paper all. pulp, what she's talking about is like a wet mash of paper fiber that she's putting on the cans and actually making a print of the surface of each can. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And then you So these are, you know, these are who knows. Well, these are you can tell these were old cans, you know. Yeah. And and uh, this was a maybe part of a car or something. I don't know. But then I I um 
I put them together and uh, a lot of glue, a lot of little pieces of you know paper in the background to hold it How all together. How hard is that? How rigid? Pretty rigid because I have a piece of foam core that the whole thing attaches to on the back. And you've painted it too, which yeah. must make it yeah. harder Acryl as well. Acrylic, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that helps to protect the surface too. Sure. Yeah. So it doesn't have to and be. And actually, I painted underground. the back side too because, you know, moisture will just affect these things. Just to make things. it rigid and just protect to, it. Just to protect yeah. it, yeah, seal I it. I love yeah. the subtle color in this. I know you don't use a whole lot of well, you know, that's painted weird because color. I was you use <laughs> material Here color. I was a painting major and I love color when I, when I dress, but um, it's form first. It seems, it seems to be form, form and, and line, texture and, line. and yeah, yeah. yeah, those things. You know. But the color in this is is in a way very rich. It's just very subtle. Yeah. Well, it's I use not a lot of body. It's it's subtle, but well, it's I rich. I use a lot of um, iridescent pigments, but I always water them down with just straightforward yeah. pigments. That so makes it's a it little look bit metallic. Too. Yeah. So it sheens a little bit, but not. Yeah. You know, it's not. Yeah. Gross. Oh my God, five. Okay, we yeah, got to get we going. Move yeah. along here. All right. Well, that's oh, now these are screens. Yeah, this was a screen I did back in about 1990, and um, actually the color version of it is that, or just a section of it. And um, it's I, I just couldn't stand having prints in frames because I'm so much in 3D, you know, two and a half D maybe. And uh, so I took a woodworking course, so I would learn how to, I did it at the craft center, so I would learn how to make the frame, and then I went out and cut a million saplings that, you know, that formed yeah. the back of it, and these are all collagraph prints. One of the things I oh. want to get in and is that... And this, by okay. the way, this is, this is the exact so print. So this is what you call a collagraph? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it means a, she's built up the surface of the paper with either... This is um, fabric. fabric. It's a, a and, lot yeah. of recycled um, and then uh, glue pantyhose and, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it's just, um, I glue it on with gesso, and then I um, put gesso on the surface to coat it. Otherwise, it would all be black yeah. when I print it. Yeah, and then you can do things. You know, I added these things at one point to print it for so something. So then she inks this up with a roller. She rolls the ink um, onto it, and that, then this you is can actually print it. In, this is actually intaglio, which means you you cover it with ink and then you wipe off the surface. Wipe so off. it's just the right. yeah. So. Okay. And there's some there's some things attached there too. I I added some other textures and yes. Yeah. We gotta fly here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so those yeah. no, those things are fly. just that. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's actually when uh, I did my first trip with some of the Boston printmakers to um, Iceland, and I was just so excited by the really interesting forms of lava. We saw a lot of places with wow. lava, and there's lots of different types. Is this of a lava. print or drawing? Um, it's a print, but the bottom half of it is um, an intaglio print and the top, uh, not intaglio, uh, collagraph, and then the, the top is intaglio from one of my, my uh, images. And that was, let's see, the last time that uh, Joe and I went to uh, um, Iceland. It was <laughs> the third time, third time I had been, second time he'd been. Um, this was a uh, glacier that uh, the, our guide brought us to that we never could actually get to because there was so much um, really just melt? torrential melt coming down from underneath it. And uh, but the rock formations were phenomenal, and so I did. It almost some looks drawing. like it could be bone. You know, form is form. It, it I just was drawing bone bones and, a couple yeah. weeks ago in in um, in Cambridge. Yeah. But this and that's that's the that the close is actually up. the little opening where the water yeah. is running. And from it's not below. so little because I would be a couple of feet below the top of that if I were to stand right in there. Oh and really? Yeah. I and you can you walk up, minuscule. we can walk right up in there, and our, our guides was trying to get us in there so that we could do that, but we but couldn't, you couldn't we get, couldn't get, to get it across. by the water? No, the stream was, was so deep and so fast, yeah. Yeah. Now, we want to hear about the turtle boxes, too. Uh, we never did talk about this uh, print behind oh, us, I don't though. Know how that, yeah. Can we show this? I wanted to show you one. Tell, what, tell about oh, okay. this. Oh, okay. That's, well, that, this is a polymer plate um, etching that goes with. I'm going to hold it in the middle so they okay. can maybe it goes with see. That top. Of course, it's reversed because it's a print, yeah, like a mirror. Yeah, because it's face to face. Yeah. But and if uh, so that that is um, pretty directly printed 
there, and then I did a little bit of hand coloring with a color pencil yeah. to bring out certain You things. can just see the way if the plate is etched a little bit, and when she rolls it, that's now where... I ink, I ink it up ink and then wipe it, ink it off. Ink it, yeah. and then, and 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 then wipe yeah. it off. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. I could, I could roll it, and I've often yeah. thought and of that, but I haven't it. gotten to... The, well, no, then, you then you wouldn't wipe it. That would just be a surface print, just mm -hmm. a, you know, relief, a relief roll. And now we're we're up to the last work I've seen of yours, which was the uh, mm -hmm. turtle, box. turtle boxes. Yeah, and we've got a couple and sitting here on the front. And you brought a few of these, yeah. and they're they're so elegant and so delicate. Now this just has a monotype. Um, before b underneath it, before I printed the the turtles, and I did not print um, the line of the boxes on top of it. And so I, this one I did though. This one I did, so you can see the lines of yes. the box. But this is just this is see the little dots. These little dots go with the various so corners of the boxes. So you know the where boxes. the fold ends. Yeah. How yeah. clever is that? Yeah. So. Um, and uh, I did, I think I, yeah, I numbered the, um, the boxes, but I didn't number so, them. So this is really transforming a two-dimensional print into a three-dimensional sculpture. And uh, I think of it as taking, the, see, the, the um, turtles were like they were floating instead of swimming. And so I thought, God, you know, it's like the turtles are out in the world. They're out in the universe. So it was like taking, um, Oh, you know how the stars, they make constellations, yeah. most of which they I, don't, doesn't, don't make really any sense. I really thought that those... So that's, so that's this, that like, this taking the, the space and moving like it around. diagram looks like a constellation. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. what I, that's, that was sort and of the idea. And in that uh, first one, it, it's reflected in the mirror. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. I used to put so them... You can see the back. I used to put a little thing underneath it to stand it up and put a mirror on the bottom as well, but I figured I didn't need that with these. Well, I'm sorry to give you the rush there, but, it's, but, but it's, we, that's it. we want to get all the images in, but okay. I did want to mention uh, that you have a show on now. And well, it's not uh, my own show, but I'm yeah. sh a show I'm in in Attleboro, and then I'm also in a show, I believe it's sometime in March that it starts in um, uh, Maryland. In uh, Annapolis. Annapolis. Yeah. 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 And she has a really terrific website. Uh, just uh, Lynn, Lynn. It's uh, Lynn Johnson Visual Artist dot com because Very there are simple. too many Lynn Johnsons <laughs> in the world. Very simple. But Lynn and has an E on it, so that can be. And if you go there, <laughs> it's so worthwhile. I mean, just to read her beautiful statement, you'd love it. So. Um, I enjoyed it very much, and yeah, I enjoyed fun. having you and looking at your work and getting to know more about it. So <laughs> thanks for joining us, Lynn. Well, thank you. And thank you for joining us, and I hope you'll come back and see us again next time. Mm -hmm.